All right, what's up, y'all? It's True Sense, and I'm back with another one, and I'm going to keep coming back with another one. So hit that subscribe button. Okay, man. Okay. Like I was saying, I'm back with another one, and hit the subscribe button. Hit it, hit it, hit it if you want to know more information, because I got it. I'm going to be coming back for more. I'm going to be coming back with more. And I'm going to try to give you all as much as I can, you man. All right, so let's get into it. Water. Why is water important? What's the big deal about water? What type of waters are there? So first off, I want to start with complex ideas on this topic. And the first thing I want to say is water has memory. You know, give me one second. Got I got to get the bottle. Hold on. All right, I got the water. Yeah. It's good stuff. But like I was saying, water has memory. What does this guy mean when he says that? What is this guy talking about? How can water have memory? can water have memory what I mean by that is water picks up on everything what is everything everything is energy everything is vibrations everything is frequencies and in this water you can see it you can see it moving it's moving because I moved it you, know, you can hardly see it but I'm trying to get the right angle there the water's moving because I moved it. And the thing about that is, if I sit this water down and let it sit still, it's going to become still and it's going to stop moving. And if I tap the glass, that water is going to pick up on the vibrations. It's going to start rippling. It's going to show a ripple effect. It's going to start moving. And your voice. Your voice is a vibration. Your voice is a frequency. Your thoughts are vibrations. Your thoughts are a frequency. So your water is recording everything. Everything you think, everything you speak, all the sounds happening around the water, the water is picking it up and recording it and storing it as information. And that's why when they say, if you pray over your water, if you speak life, you speak positive words into your water, it actually makes the water better. It makes it more pure. And you know, they showed it under this type of magnifying type glass or a scope. And they show the crystallization process. They show these geometric figures that are formed when you speak positive words into the water or you sing a positive song or you say a prayer. But if you say negative things, you say hateful words, stuff like that, of a bad frequency, then the the geometric shapes aren't really geometric anymore, and they they don't come out looking too well. You know, they come out looking pretty ugly. You know, like the word ugly itself, the water doesn't like that. It's a bad frequency. And that's the crazy thing about water, man. That's what most people don't know, and it's fascinating. You know, some people might call it crazy. Some people might think I'm out of my mind, but it's scientifically proven. The studies have shown how water picks up information. And everything is vibration. Everything is frequencies. What's going to make this water move is a vibration and a frequency. So now we have different types of water. All right, so... With the different types of water, we have distilled water, distilled water, and we have reverse osmosis. That's what I have in here. Reverse osmosis is a purification process that the water goes through to get purified. It does a good job. Distilled water, you can get basically anywhere for a dollar a gallon. 
or you can get your own distiller machine but distilled water is the best water that I recommend because it is the most pure water to me you know it's not gonna have minerals and things in it because it's just gonna be water but it's not gonna have anything bad in it as well but when you put just water in your body it'll, de it'll detox you it'll run through your body it'll flush your system out if you have a headache it'll take care of that it'll clear your mind it'll give you clarity I recommend distilled water to anybody so those are the types of waters I also want to talk about tap water and fluoride and what most people need to realize is tap water has fluoride in it some of these bottled waters at the store have fluoride in them so you have to be careful I mean you can't be perfect you can't be on point all the time but it's definitely best to try because fluoride is not a good thing for the body and you know fluoride will give you headaches <clears throat> it'll take away your clarity and it'll do many other toxic things to the body why it's in the water I don't know but you want to have the most purified water when you're drinking it you know a lot of people say I want to try drinking water and they drink it and they don't really see the changes that they want to see so they think oh what's the big hype about water well that's because you're not drinking the right water is the pH balance right is the water alkaline or is it acidic no you have a scale and on that scale you have you have purple blue green etc and you have on the left side you have yellow and red on the left side is going to be acidic on the right side is going to be alkaline you don't want too acidic but you don't want too alkaline either so you kind of want not at the middle but you want that blue there's going to be a purple that's too alkaline but then there's going to be some blues a dark blue a light blue and there's going to be green green's okay but you want a blue alkaline water and there's a lot of pH tests, meters, or uh, strips that you can get online on Amazon for like $10, $8. If you're actually intrigued about seeing what your water is. You know, with a lot of this stuff, when it comes to health or when it comes to anything, you have to want it. You know, because most people, you're not going to make the changes if you don't want it, if you don't want to. So if you really care about what type of water you're drinking, then yeah, Amazon will have those types of things. And also, another thing is that I also use is a TDS meter. And with this meter, you stick it in the water. You know, you turn it on, you stick it in the water. It's gonna tell me how many parts per million is in the water. That means how much stuff is in the water. And the thing is, it's not going to tell me what minerals or what it's picking up on. But what's crazy about it is, with distilled water, it reads zero. When I put it in mineral water, that's when it starts getting numbers. So when I say distilled water is the best, most pure water you can get, and the meter picks up zero on distilled water, then that should tell you something. As far as the other waters, you don't want the numbers to be outrageously high. Like you might want to see 30, 40, 50, or 60, even 80, but sometimes it might go off the scale, like 100 something, 200 something, that's too high. That means there's too much stuff in it, and there's probably stuff in there that's not good for you. So it's just a little TDS meter. I know the words are probably backwards, but TDS and EC. This is also like $10 on Amazon. Now, I've had it for years now and it still works. Never had to change the batteries. It's not like I got to use it all the time. You know, just make sure you turn it off when you're done. You know, once you buy this stuff, you kind of have it for a lifetime. And also with water, of course, it's hydrating. When you have the right alkaline water, you want to hydrate yourself with the right water. With the right pH balance inside your body, it's going to make your environment hard for bacteria and viruses to survive. For sicknesses, cancers, anything like that, it's going to make it hard to survive in an alkaline body. Our bodies are alkaline, our bodies are electric. When you have an acidic diet, 
and you drink acidic water, it's not good. It makes it easier for those things to live inside your body that shouldn't be there. Water is also going to give you feel. You know, it's going to make you feel good, but it's going to fill you up. And a lot of people, they don't see themselves getting energy from water, but it, it, believe it or not, it does. When you wake up in the morning, your brain and your body is starving for water. And when you put the right water in there, it's going to make your day a lot smoother. You're going to notice you didn't have headaches. You didn't get migraines. You're going to have more clarity. You're not going to have fog thoughts. It's going to help you get through the day better. It's going to give you that extra kick. And yeah, people don't realize that as well. And water is very healing. Like I said, with the distilled water, you know, our grandmas and our parents used to say all the time, when you get sick, drink some water. Here, get some rest, drink some water. Because it's true, water water alone will heal you. You just got to let, you got to give the nutrients that your body needs to get the job done. It's like oil to a car. When you have the right oil for your car, and you get that oil change, your car is running a lot smoother. It's not hesitating or it's not sluggish. Because you, you flushed everything out, you put some good oil in there, and it's running nice. Same thing with your body. You got to keep it up with the water. Keep it up. Try to drink more water than you drink anything else. If you drink soda, go ahead, knock yourself out, but try to add some water in there. And not just any water, because water does make a difference. Water is not just water. There's a lot of different types of water out there. So speak life to your water. Speak positive things. You know, I'm, that may be hard to remember. I don't remember that all the time, but sometimes I do. And it definitely makes a difference with the water for sure. I feel a lot better when I speak to the water. I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, it works. So with that being said, this is the video on water. This is True Sense, and this is True Pure Health. This is a True Sense of Life, and I thank you guys for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening if you made it this far. And hit that subscribe button because I'm going to keep coming more, 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 more with more and more information and more knowledge to share with you guys because that's all I want to do. I want to share, and I want to help. Because when there was a time when I didn't have this knowledge and I didn't have this information, there were people out there for me that I was able to watch and study and pick up on the information. It helped me greatly throughout my life. It helped me become the person I am today. And it helped me find the person I, who I am, truly. So thank you and peace out. Until next time. Bye.